know what he was doing, but like I think like in a game five set, I could have at least taken the game. Okay. Uh, that that's my that's my personal belief, but uh, we're not talking about me right now. We're talking about Crimson and Koopa on stream right now. And Koopa going corner. with the Pokemon trainer this time. Koopa. I've seen it a couple of times, but. Didn't think he'd be busting it out today. I've been looking forward to seeing some Bowser. Koopa, has got, he's got Bowser, he's got Fox, Wolf, Pokemon Trainer. He's got a little of his own, I'm pretty Yeah, sure. he does. And I was say, like, I've said, like, why are you playing all these characters? Like, I want to learn them. Wow, Crimson like, just opening him up, though. He's holding down this corner. All right. Oh, n nice pivot grab. Why did I think that would kill? I, I legitimately, I saw that vi Vine Whip, like, that might kill. It's because the tipper's ridiculous. <laughs> it, you gotta watch out for it. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah Ivysaur has some absolutely ridiculous aerials. Yeah. So this matchup, actually, for a lot of people, uh, a lot of swords, they find it really annoying just because Ivysaur keeps them out so well. Uh, but Koopa's not really, like, he's a patient player when he needs to be, but he's not super can't be and he definitely hasn't shown that right there there's only been like three razor leaves this entire game so far and it's been a minute it's so odd to see ivysaur who's really as a pokemon himself a grounded pokemon literally made of grass grows from the ground and yet he's dominating in the air at all times yeah it's uh it's, Ooh, it's pretty weird oh the nice crimson yeah good counter coming through yeah nice counter oh my god this is some big damage racked up by koopa with this ivysaur but crimson Starting to fight his way back. So Crimson, uh, from what I've seen at least, Crimson's a very... Uh, he's a solid player, but he struggles with matchups that he doesn't know very well. And I'm pretty sure he knows this matchup fairly everyone well. Everyone knows this matchup. I, I mean, everyone I has a Pokemon Trainer. I have not played many Pokemon Did you not play the first all. two weeks when everyone was playing Pokemon Trainer? No one played Pokemon Trainer. Wow! Down throw. Vine Whip. Gonna do it right there from Koopa. Under 100 before the hits, too. That was... Like, oh, and you gotta watch out for these up airs. They do lead into each other. Yeah. Up air to up air to up B is a true thing. It does so much damage. Yeah. It might not, it might not kill you oh. at the percent it works. Oh! But. Rack it up! Oh, and here comes the Charizard! Oh, he switched Pokemon just for that read! That was oh genius stuff from King Koopa. Wow. That was such a good read. I wouldn't have expected it. 100% I, I would have gotten hit in that scenario. You would have gotten hit too. I I feel like I knew that was coming, and I still would have gotten hit though. Yep. Th that was. Who had that IQ read play, ready? Man. Who had that read ready before the game started? Oh my God! He's pulling I'm out the clean Incineroar. Up this set. Incineroar from Crimson. What? What's three subpar Pokemon to one busted Pokemon? Now here's the thing: is that his recovery is definitely going to be in jeopardy against Squirtle. Oh, absolutely. And Ivysaur to an extent. Incineroar is one of those characters that just loses mo like a ton of matchups on paper, but he's Incineroar, so he can win. That is true. Seen it from Brandon a number of times. All right. So yeah, Ordi like put on ledge in like the first 15 seconds, and just be being in this corner, Incineroar can be uh, fine with that because he has the tools to get out of the corner really quick, like the lariat, the get the fantastic get off me. Dash tag down till not bad Dead. often to get out of yep. there either, but King Koopa just starting this thing off right. And here comes the Charizard Fire Pokemon on Fire Pokemon. All right. Oh, oh my God. who does that? Just in neutral raw at six percent. Yeah, gonna eat it. Yeah, eat a a lonely whip for it, but I don't think he's too worried. His Charizard not working out for him right now. Switches over to Squirtle, smart move, but he's going to get back thrown for his troubles. Now sitting at 100%, this almost full stock lead is nearly gone, but he's going to he's gonna pull out a Squirtle combo to try to get something going. Oh, there it is, the down oh, smash. Dang. One of my favorite animations in the game. So It's so dumb looking, but so good. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. That's so much damage. Yeah, missing the down air there. Oh, and getting hit by the Lariats. Yeah, and he had all the time in the world to punish that Lariat, but went for the wrong option right there. Lariat is not an easy move to punish, honestly. It, you, ha you have to not get hit by it and have something probably slightly disjointed or have perfect timing. Oh, and here we go. Koopa no. trying to get this kill. Not getting the Vine Whips he needs right now. Oh, but he the, gets the up air. The Seed Bomb. The Shotgun Blast from the back. Oh, and here we go. Perfect switch out. This is huge damage combos coming from Squirtle. Trying to douse that fire that is Incineroar. Incineroar's definitely got uh, 
definitely one of the fireest po fire Pokemon that I can think of. Oh, he's trying to go for it. Trying to get that scoop up grab. Not going to find it. Right. Oh, get off me. Spin to win, my friends. My favorite thing about this character, just so much like Zangief. And I always wanted Zangief in Smash Bros. Zangief in Smash Bros would definitely be uh, pretty hype, right? It would be a thing. Spinning pile drivers? Yeah. Ooh, no, to the ropes. A, not across the stage, though. Trying to scoop him up off the edge, maybe? Yeah, going for a couple of down tilts Oh my right god, here. he just went for three in a row. Up, up throw not killing. Definitely not. Battlefield high stage, but back here going to do it. One, one he, we haven't seen any revenge come from this man yet. Oh, and he's so deep. Barely makes it back, and King Koopa's down till time and could have taken it right there. Oh, and this is how you uh, rack up damage. Yeah, uh, you need to get out of Squirtle right now. He is in kill percent with near full rage on Incineroar. Yeah, you, you got, do like, not want to get grabbed to the ropes. Oh, no, he right. doesn't get the strong hits. Poor timing coming from Crimson. He now gets, we have Ivysaur. 80% with this much rage. Uh, if he gets this at the ledge, this could, uh, a Lolan Whip could be it. It's definitely very difficult for him to get in as an Incineroar against Ivysaur, however. Yeah, it seems like he's content with jumping over the Razor Leaves and fairing. Uh, back throw? Yes, but not going to quite kill in the middle of the stage. Crimson going to recover a little high at first. Goes low. Oh, wow. Not snapping the ledge when he needs to. Down throw. Yep, that'll Taking do it. it. I not see that one coming. Off the top, man. It'll do it. 